Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to find out why this chipper's locked up. Stick with me. Hopefully, it's going to be something simple. Let's find out together. Okay guys, now if you watched my last video, you seen I, I got this at an estate sale. And uh, a couple nails in the tire. It's a good thing it's just a plastic tire. It supposedly wasn't run, run much. The story I got was he used it a couple times. Um... And apparently something went wrong with the carburetor and he had the carburetor rebuilt. And the last time it was ran was when he ran the gas out of the carburetor and out of the tank. Now, so I don't know, but when I pull the dipstick out, it smells like gasoline like a real heavy smell of gasoline it's very thin so I mean okay yeah there's nothing in the tank it's plastic tank so that's good so there's nothing in the tank nice and clean um, but it's locked up okay so I'm gonna set you down here and the first thing we we'll want to try to do with this thing yes my garage is nasty again but, you know Got to work on stuff to make some money. So what we're going to do, let's get you down here. Okay, so I'm going to raise this chute up here. And I'm going to try to get something down in there and see if I can turn this backwards. Inside here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. And see if maybe there's something jammed down in there causing that or what okay so now apparently when these are new you can get a bag for them this one does not have a bag okay all right so uh tell you what let me get something to hold this chute up here okay i just put a bungee cord on that thing to hold it up right now now if you look down in there okay There's the wheel that spins. Right there on the left, I'm sorry. There's the wheel that spins. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get something in there and try to push it down backwards and see if, see what happens. So let me grab a pry bar. Couldn't find my pry bars. So, just, uh, I, but I do have a long screwdriver. Does not want to turn okay so I'm not seeing anything I think what we may have to do is pull this off here get this thing off and out of the way and then we can look in there a little better and kind of see what's going on so let me get some wrenches to take these bolts out and we'll get this big old chute off of here okay so stick with me and I'll turn you back on in a second okay we're back there's three more bolts on the other side there's two on the side and one on the bottom and there's three on this side one on the top and two on the side so I took the other three out to save you the, the hassle so let's go ahead and speed this up Okay, we should have all the bolts out. I see some issues that we may have to address. I think this thing was used more than just a couple times. There's some crack, cracks there. 
and I see one down on the bottom so we we may have to address them uh, what I'll probably end up doing is putting bigger washers on there so it covers the crack so it doesn't crack more okay so let's go ahead there we go. let's go ahead and try to pull this off of here This is what's inside. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, this is moving back and forth. I see something right in there. You guys see that? I wonder if that's what's causing it. Maybe there's a stick stuck in there. Let's get that stick out of there. And uh, let's see if that's what's going on with it. Bet you that's the whole, the whole issue. All right, I'm gonna get something, and I'm gonna try to pick that out of there and dig that out without having to take the other side off. And I'll be right back with you guys. Hang tight. still kind of stuck in there but if I there's a little bit of it right down in there but if I pull the cord it may get chopped up there let's go pull the cord Got a little bit down in there. All right, they're still right in there. See it stick down in there? So I still got a little bit in there. Let me get a pair of gloves on, and I'm gonna get that stick out of there. And then we may put some gas in it and fire it up. So let me get to that. You guys know what's coming next right now for safety reasons I'm gonna throw this back on all it is is just the opposite of how it come off three bolts on each side three nuts on each side and then we're gonna put some gas in it because it looks nice and clean We're going to try to start this thing up. <laughs> Let me get that put back together and we'll get it outside. All right, slight change of plans. The first thing we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to check it for spark, okay? That's the first thing we're going to do. Second thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the oil right now because I smell fuel in it. I don't like that idea. Hopefully the carburetor will be fine. There's a little dirt in the fuel tank. Uh, but I'm just going to blow that out with some compressed air. 
and uh, but monkey went after some oil for me so we're going to go ahead and check it for spark all right so let me grab my spark tester you guys have seen me use this before it doesn't check for spark for the plug for the spark plug it just checks to see if it's got spark to the plug and that'll tell me you know if I have to pull the flywheel you know this does not have points you know if I have to check the coil you know the more expensive stuff so let's see now this thing will light up if it's got spark you'll see it light up okay let's try this no spark well alright let's turn it on <laughs> Turn the switch on, see if it's got spark. Now, at the end, when it quits turning over, when you hear that clunk, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. It's a, uh, there's a, uh, they're kind of like a blade that kicks the stuff out, and that's what you hear. They're just, they just flap around, and when it's running, centrifugal, centrifugal force holds them out. So, don't be alarmed about that. All right, you see, you see a spark? Let me zoom in a little closer. I'm seeing it spark. All right, she's got spark. Now let's let's uh, change. Let's go ahead and get the oil draining. And while that's draining, I'll put the chute back onto the back, the hopper they call it, on back onto the back. By the time we do that, she should be back and we'll put some oil in it. Okay, I just cut this out of the bottom of a, um, a water a water container. Um, I've had people ask me before where you can get rid of oil at. Well, usually any retailers will get rid of them for you. You can take them to Walmart, um, AutoZone will take it. It's free. Uh, advanced Auto. Most most AutoZones, not all of them, about 95% of them will take it. And you're allowed up to like um, 20 quarts per visit is what they say. So, um, you know, just add, you know, just keep adding up your, uh, your oil and it will... Uh, you know, you just take it in and they'll get rid of it for you for free. They take batteries as well. But also batteries, if you have old car batteries or anything like that, tractor batteries, you can take them to the scrapyard. They'll give you money for it. Not a lot, but, you know, a couple bucks a piece. So we're going to let this drain out. While this is draining, I'm going to go ahead and put the chute back on. Okay? All right, just in time. Monkey just pulled back. I usually like to let them, uh, when I change oil, to run them and let it get hot you know up to operating temperature and let it drain out but this will be okay for now because I didn't want to run it like that so hopefully it runs period we don't know yet do we monk no. okay I got some oil here uh, I think I know a five horse takes uh, 20 ounces generally uh, I'm not sure what this is going to take but I'm going to put 20 in it and um, I'm going to put 20 ounces in it and we'll check it might be fine Just putting some cheap Dollar General uh, store oil in it. Damn it. All right. Let's go ahead and check it. Also, guys, if uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but if you're checking oil on anything, oh, that's pretty much right on the full mark. The dark spot up here is from where it was sent, but you can see the wet spots right on the full mark. If for some reason, like, one side of your dipstick is, uh, where's my rack? 
Yes, I just wiped it off, so that's how I knew there was a little bit of gas in it at one time, and I could smell it, but if like one side of your dipstick's lower than the other, always go by the low side, okay? And also, if you put, if you're over full on oil, that's just as bad, if not worse, for your engine as being a quart low. So keep that in mind as well. Check it one more time just to be sure. Monkey went and got us some gas. We're going to take this thing outside. Right on full mark. See where it's shiny. So, okay guys. So, 20 ounces is what this takes. So, I did uh, blow the fuel tank out with compressed air best I could. It, it should be okay. So let me go get my jacket on. We're going to take this outside and see if we can get it to start. Okay, we're looking at the carburetor. What we're going to look for is I'm going to put some gas in it and we're going to look for leaks around here, around here, uh, you know, and see if it's flooding out or anything. Um, also, I did take the air cleaner out. The air cleaner's fine. It looks like new. So. Go ahead and pour some gas in here. See what happens. Alright, so far I'm not seeing anything. Let's pump the primer bulb. I hate these kind of primer bulbs because you can't see what's going on. You can't see if it's getting fuel. Usually you can feel it. But or here, it just seems to me like it's not doing anything. But let's give it a couple pulls and see what happens. All right, right there. See the fuel running out of it. So, it sounds like, seems to me like it's got a stuck float. So, let me see what's going on with that thing. Okay guys, so I tapped on this, on this bowl, and what happened? It quit leaking. So I don't, if, if somebody rebuilt this for this guy, they screwed him. So, there's no shut off on this fuel. So let's just go ahead and, because I can tell you right now that carburetor, this bowl has not been off this carburetor. I can tell you that right now. Try not to hurt that gasket, but yeah. See that carburetor's not been rebuilt. Not at all. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get some carburetor cleaner and I'm gonna spray some carb cleaner in that. And uh, then we'll go from there and see what happens. We'll try to start it. Okay guys, I pulled the bowl off. Well, you saw that, and I checked the placement of where the uh, depth was on the um, the uh, on the float. Uh, I sprayed it out with some carburetor cleaner. Now, let's see if it'll run without flooding out. I already pulled the air cleaner off because I didn't want it filling up and getting that filter all wet so let's see if we can get it to run now since it was flooding out I figure it's probably got plenty of fuel I'm not going to hit the primer bulb might help if I turn the switch on
this carburetor, but I am going to adjust the idle. I'm going to fiddle with it for a minute. We'll spray some more carburetor cleaner in there. Let's see what happens after that. I'll be right back with you. I think we got her straightened out now. Let's take it over here and see if we can chip something with it. the aftermath I just got yelled at for making money what, what do you think for it? what do you think yeah and I sold the blowers what? remember the, the blowers what blowers all the blowers I had I sold them oh yeah yeah the only yeah. one we got left is yours so. yeah so you don't doing pretty good yeah well I'm glad that it's not a major issue nope that you were kind of concerned, but you were had a good inkling that it probably wasn't. Yeah. So it just goes to show that a lot of people buy these things and then they they break down. They don't know what to do because they don't know how to fix them, or they yeah. take them to places and they get ripped off. Yeah. And that's the bad part. Well, the carburetor don't seem to be leaking gas. It was leaking gas. Was it? Yeah, we took it apart and checked it and everything. Is the that what you were stuck. smelling then? You no. Think? Well. Yeah, it flooded out. It got some in the oil, but we're good now. Yeah. We changed the oil, so. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. So. Pleased. Very pleased. I kind of like it. 
<laughs> I the do too. Thing, yeah, the only thing that's missing is the bag. But, you know, I do have that bag in there for the blower. Yeah, but, no. I mean, that's... Just to rig it, you know, until you can no. get one. No, I, I, why, why am I going to buy a bag? You go putting a bunch of money in these things, you can't get no money out of them. Why am I going to go buy a bag for this? Let somebody else buy the bag. I'm not keeping it, if that's what you're getting at. Well, it makes a mess if you don't have the bag. You're not supposed to have it sitting right here, but... Well, it's like if we used it. What do you mean? <laughs> this thing's going to sale tomorrow. Well, what if you don't sell it? <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. Yeah, for 70 bucks, we got a $450. Well, and then you got tax. Close to five hundred dollar item here. No, really. So you know that I was gonna, handy. I was gonna put two hundred on it and take like one seventy five. Yeah. Yeah. I'd sell it, of course. We need the money, so yeah, we need yeah. the money. I didn't buy it to keep, huh? No, I know. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's badass. Yeah, look at all the mulch I'd have. Oh, you'd have all kinds of mulch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. good looking mulch too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that thing, man. He shreds it up now. Yeah, pretty good. And we always got these tree limbs and shit falling down. And uh, always. Yeah. So what do you think? I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Did a good job. Yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. I'm done for today. Okay. Good. All right. Well, yep. I could work on a weed eater. No, you need to rest. All right. Okay. Well, with that being said, then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Monkey says she's out for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey's channel. She's getting some good videos up. Awesome. Yeah. So we're going to say Shea Bear the Myth the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. And don't forget to what? Subscribe. Comment, rate, subscribe. And what else? Click the button. Bell. Oh, the bell button. Icon. Oh, whatever. Icon. To get notified. You do it. Don't forget to click the bell icon and get Maybe notified why, of more awesome videos <laughs> like this. Offer void where prohibited by law. Really? Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Gone. Bye. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>